Red and circuses. I keep saying there's two sides to every story. No, there's three. Oh. My side, your side, oh, and the truth. Go. You've never heard that I'm one so before? I'm so glad you're in between the two of us right now. <laughs> you know, we get two devices. What's with that? Um, so I've always had this one. Salt, uh, but when I went to Siemens, I was using my personal phone. Uh, so they're like, um, well, we, we need that phone number back. And you've had it. I've been using it for like 15 years. They're like, well, no, when you sign the contract, that's our phone. So I went ahead with my act of Congress to get it removed and keep the number. So with the new company, I said, just give me a second phone. Uh, he sees uh, wicked important. You want? I'll give you. I'll give. Well, I'll give you the big one. You no. Anytime. You gotta answer it. Want me to sell sell stuff yeah. for you? Sure. Absolutely. Okay. I'll leave. I might even pay you. <laughs> Warm is February on.
Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Scarborough Town Council uh, special meeting of March 1, 2018. Uh, I'd like to meet, call the meeting to order, and let's all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Councilor Baybine? Present. Councilor Rowan? Here. Councilor Foley? Here. Councilor Katarina? Here. Councilor Hayes? Here. Councilor Chiazzo? Here. Chairman Donovan? Here. All business. Uh, order number 18-008, second reading on the request from the town manager to expend $77,950 from the undesignated fund balance for commercial industrial revaluation. And I'll ask the town manager to introduce the matter. Yes, um, council may recall, I brought this issue first to the council on public's attention, I think in my manager's report back in January. Uh, since then, uh, the matter came forward formally to this board on February 7th uh, in first reading, and there's been a number of things that have occurred in the meantime. Uh, perhaps I should take a step back and just introduce the matter in, um, in the first instance. Uh, this proposal would have us conduct a full revaluation for both the commercial and industrial classes of property in our town. And um, you might ask, why now? Uh, this is, uh, these classes of properties have been um, well documented year over year as being kind of the, uh, the furthest from full market value, which is the standard that assessments really need to strive for. Uh, in fact, uh, these two classes are at 76% of market value. Uh, interestingly, they're also small enough that, and manageable enough that we're able to advance them uh, kind of in a, in a phased approach. And to that end, um, I did go out to the market, uh, issued an RFP, and had two respondents, um, two very qualified firms. Um, to my surprise, they were both uh, capable of conducting this revaluation in time for the upcoming commitment, which I think is an important factor. Um, the other part of this uh, certainly is the residential side of the, of the property tax base. And I have full intentions of included, including in my FY19 budget, uh, funding for that. And I hope that enjoys support by the council, since I personally think it's really important that we do these things as close together as possible for that equity. Um, so uh, just quickly recapping what's happened since first reading, there was some concern among councilors uh, in terms of the timing and notice uh, around this matter. I did have a couple of opportunities um, addressing the SEDCO uh, Board of Directors and also the Scarborough Ch uh, Chamber. I did my annual address, uh, thankfully, in this interim period. Um, beyond that, we did do a direct uh, email communication to all businesses on the SEDCO web website, and that was about our uh, database. That was about 1,400 businesses. And from that, um, well, as part of that, was uh, a published frequently asked questions and an encouragement for folks to speak up to either myself, Larissa, or members of the council if they wished. Um, from our perspective, from staffs, uh, we've only had one inquiry, and that was from uh, Steve Berg at Alpha Management. It was more, uh, I would characterize it as kind of benign, more of an inquiry than, than even a comment. Um, beyond that, I've received no further input. I'm certainly interested to hear if any of you have received any input. Um, so at this point, we will have about six weeks' notice of the of the project, and I would surmise that that's sufficient time to at least garner concern if there was some. Uh, so at this point, I come back before you uh, to seek funding to fund that commercial industrial reval, and we'll also be accomplishing an upgrade of our software to a vision software, which is much more user friendly, and I think will be well appreciated by the public as well. I'm pleased to answer questions if you have any. Uh, questions of the town manager? Mm -hmm. And th thank you for those who pressed to publicize this as fully as possible. I think that was a successful uh, effort. Any member of the public who would like to speak to address this issue, please approach the podium. Seeing none, I'll accept a motion. Move approval. Second. Discussion. Councilor I, I think this is, um, everyone is getting comfortable or getting used to the fact that this is part of our responsibility. Uh, if I remember correctly, I believe state law requires that we do this type of assessment at least once every 10 years. 
And I believe the last one we did was about 10 years ago. So, uh, I think it was in 2008. So this is just part of our regular duties. It's nothing special. I do think it's um, a, a nice move forward because I've used that vision software in my line of business, and it's a very good uh, resource from a usability. Um, mm -hmm. So I think that's a natural transition as well. So uh, good luck to the team. Can I just ask a question to the manager? My, my recollection, it was 2006 was the last rebuild. Could you? Yes, you're correct. 2006, so, so we're, we're out of okay. compliance. Yeah, so I think that's one of the reasons why I'm supportive of this as well. I think that we are um, beyond the, um, uh, the recommended time and that we're, um, and that the inequities that we're seeing are, are the result of that. Uh, I think we talked last time that it, what it's meant is that um, the uh, commercial and industrial um, taxpayer has been paying slightly less than what would be considered their fair share um, based on the um, um, valuation that um, which with which we divide and, and determine how much each one of us is supposed to pay for our for our um, share of the municipal budget um, and so I think that you know the correction here will, will probably take it the other way um, but given that it has gone uh, a couple years where they've been underpaying that was now be a year or two where they're overpaying and as long as we are following it up to fix the equity, inequity, uh, immediately I'm, I'm supportive of it. And I think it, it does obligate us to try and get the um, full, the remainder of the residential uh, market revaluated um, in, in the budget cycle. But um, I think that that's, that's warranted and we should do it. So I support it. Thank you. You all set? Uh, yes, um, as, as I think this is a great move. I've been very supportive of this. Um, when I ran to return to the council this summer, it was one of my major points when I was running, was talking about the need for a reval of the commercial industrial uh, sector, uh, basically is an equity issue. Um, and I, when I talked to people about it, they were very uh, open to it. I have heard, I haven't heard anything from any people who own buildings in town who would be affected by this. Uh, and I've talked to a couple of them um, just, you know, informally and, they, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it is time for the reval. And I also, I use vision appraisal daily and I'm very happy that we're looking at going with vision appraisal because it makes it so much easier to look things up online. Yeah, for the, for their estate. software package. If you're on real estate, if you're doing real estate or development work, yeah. Council mm -hmm. Hayes? Yeah, I think <clears throat> I will support this. I, I was initially concerned that, or, or my biggest concern, especially as being sort of on the finance committee, is really being concerned about sort of off-cycle expenditures, things that weren't budgeted, especially using fund balance as we're really trying to manage funds balance because it has the potential to impact bond ratings and other things. Um, I do, I do compliment the staff. I did have a concern that what would be the reaction of our business community. Just wanted to make sure they had a chance to voice any concerns. And I, I appreciate the outreach. And it sounds like we didn't get much feedback. So I am comfortable, but just would really want our budget process and planning process that these types of things are, are, are part, of, part of the process. But I understand the special circumstances. Mm -hmm. So with that, I'll, I'll, I'll conclude my comments. Thank you. Councilor Keza. Um, from my perspective, it, it is more of an equity question. I mean, fairness and equity in tax policy is critical, I think. Um, and the longer we delay, the longer that, the wider that gap becomes. So I, I think it's, it's, it's paramount we get this done. Um, and in, just a reminder, too, it's, it's a revaluation of the property values, not the mill rate. So um, it's, it, it doesn't necessarily mean the taxes are going to, the tax rate won't change. It's just the property values that will, that will be corrected. So um, I'm certainly going to support this uh, with an understanding, of course, to Councillor Hayes's point that we will be looking at next year's budget to have funding in place for the residential revaluation so that we can plan accordingly for that and, and take that into consideration during our regular budget planning process. So. Uh, I would join uh, in your remarks. Uh, uh, I'm very supportive of doing the residential as a part of the regular budget process uh, for the 2018-2019 budget. Uh, and I support uh, doing this because we can do it, and it uh, 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 erases an inequity that exists at the current time. So, other comments, Councilor. Can, can I just ask one one question? So, we did we did kind of the, the shoreland reval a couple of years ago. Would the 
is your your plan to uh, to do the revalue of the entire residential base or just the part that was not done? It would be the entire. The entire, yes. Yeah, and just to be clear, uh, we have historically, even since our last full townwide rebell in 2006, done annual sales analyses, and those that analysis has often uh, directed or identified certain changes that the assessors made in certain neighborhoods or areas of town. This community is large enough, diverse enough, with uh, certainly high-end waterfront to back farmland, uh, condominiums to multifamily to single family, all of those markets don't react the same way. And so to the extent assessors through the years have identified and documented very clear trends in those markets, adjustments have been made. So it's not as if those values have remained untouched, uh, but it's a constantly moving uh, target. And if I could just, uh, I don't mean to correct Councilor Chiazza, but I want to make sure that it's stated correctly. Uh, though this effort does not have any direct effect um, by way of the consultant's work on the tax rate, the ultimate effect, um, we do expect the tax rate to go down. Anytime you increase value, all things being equal. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, uh, a factor will happen in the interim will be settling on next year's budget. That will have an impact as well. But all things being equal, we would expect to see a decrease in the tax rate. What that means for individual taxpayers <coughs> is another matter. Okay. Thank you. Other comments? Seeing none. All in favor? Opposed? It's unanimous. Thank you. New business. Uh, uh, item four, excuse me, old business. Workshop with the Board of Education and Municipal Auditors. Uh, uh, once we conclude that, we will uh, uh, be going to uh, executive sessions. And we'll uh, move to go into executive session at the conclusion of the auditor's report. Uh, at that point, we're going to have two executive sessions. Uh, the first uh, is a uh, hardship tax abatement request. Uh, we have the responsibility of voting on that, but in public. As a consequence, we'll probably be going uh, out of executive session into public session in the manager's conference room. Uh, we'll announce that uh, to the public in, uh, in the hallway. Uh, take that vote and then go back into executive session a second time to do the annual town manager's review. Uh, we'll then be uh, adjourning from the town manager's conference room, just so the public will be aware of it. Uh, I think we're ready to go into our workshop. Yeah, may I suggest just a short recess, recess to get settled and we can reconvene once the, the board joins you. Good. We are in recess.